look really disheveled. Like, I need a haircut. I need to shave. I look like a mess. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, welcome to the channel, Craig Peckin family. We got something different today, something special. Josh was like, Josh he goes, man, I wanted some Duros. We need to open up some Duros. And he's like, you guys want to split a box three ways in battle? <laughs> battle, count me in. I'm in. I already did the opening, so the box is open. Let me close it. Pretend like it's not open. This is what we're doing. Duros beyond death. The three of us. Josh gets a third. I get a third. Trevor gets a third. Before we start, you put your bets in. Put your bets in and say, I bet this person's going to win. Probably me. No, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, it might be close. I, I haven't looked at the totals yet. And we'll see who wins. Let's go back to Theros. We'll go back. It was only like how many months ago? It's not even that long ago. Maybe like nine months ago? Seems like forever. Let's go. Yes. Yes. We have a battle. We have an internal battle. So... The way the battle is working today is there's three of us. There is Mr. Clever Magic Trevor, Clever Magic Josh, and Clever Magic Dave. And we are splitting a box of Theros Beyond Death three ways. And we are going to see who has the most value. Whoever has the most value wins a special prize. What is that prize? Pride. The best pride, best prize of all. You know what we're going to do to split this up? Check this out. I don't know the best way to shuffle things. So what I'm going to do is each one of us is going to get a character. Because this is a pack that was made in the good old United States of America. And with the good old USA packs, there's an even number of each character on the pack. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. And the ones that are made in Japan, for some reason, are not um, the same. So, um, I don't know why that is. It's, it's an interesting phenomenon. All right, let's, I'm going to count these out just to make sure that I'm not blowing smoke. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve calyx. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the dogs. And we're just going to assume there's twelve of, uh, it's Elspeth, right? Because if not, then they shorted us or gave us too many packs. So here's how we're going to do it. Random. Random. Let's get a dice. Trevor, you... This one is one, two, three, four, five, six. Trevor... Oh, it rolled off the camera. It doesn't count. You get two. Trevor's the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Josh. Off the camera. Two, Josh, Dave. Perfect. Here we go. Trevor, Josh, Dave. Let's do this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one, 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 because that's going to be real fun. All right, let's see what we get in Theros. Now, I'm assuming commons on commons, not worth a whole heck of a lot. So we're going to skip through the commons. All right, this is Trevor's. Elsie, the presence, the chariot, and a rare... Temple of Abandon. It's Trevor's first pack. We're going to have a leaderboard up again. I love doing the leaderboard. It's a ton of work to edit a leaderboard, but I know you guys like it, so it's all about you guys. It's about the family. It's what you guys like. All right, Josh's first pack gets the, the, uh, the chain web, the field of ruin, Clothus's design, and a rare Phoenix of Ash. Nice. It's not a bad rare. Uh, it's playable. You play red. Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix is always good because they come back. They come back. All right, Dave V's first pack. So we get the Faithful End, the Hero, the Chariot, and a rare Treacherous Blessing, and a Swamp. Okay. We're done with one pack each for one pull through the video. Speed it up, Dave. All right. Here we go. Trevor's second pack. Daxos. I love my Daxos. The Dryad of Elysian Grove. Nice pull. And a foil. Common. Flecker of Fate. That's a nice pull. Now, Trevor is now officially in the lead. Now we're going to Josh. Josh. Joshy. 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 All right. 
Gosh, let's do this. Horn beetle. Everyone likes the horn beetle. The presence in the rear. Fasa's intervention. A useful rear. It's always good to see. Nice. All right. Here we go, Josh. Now, Dave. Dave's about to get the first mythic. He called it here first. Ready for this? I hope I don't, because then you guys are going to think shenanigans were happening. All right. The Haven. Inevitable end. Rare. The allure of the unknown. Evidently, this pack was an unknown, because I thought it was a myth mythic, but it's not. It was a rare. All right. Trevor, can you get the first mythic? Trevor. That's what you got. The remorse. The drag to the underworld. The Hydra's growth. And a rare Phoenix of Ash. Look at the duplication. Man, I feel left out. Man, Trevor. Josh, both got Phoenixes. I didn't get a Phoenix. I'm hoping I don't, because having three of the same rare would be... Well, unless it was a really good one. Like that try it. I could get another try it. Dave B is a pending doom. Um... No. Oh, Dave messed these up. Um, Staggering Insight. Glimpse of Freedom. These are Josh's. And the rare is the Labyrinth of Scophos. All right, let's see if I can fix the piles. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay, fixed. All right. Dave B. Let's see what we got here. Remember I said I was going to get the first Mythic? I never said which pack. Remember that. Tactics, twice favored, rare, the mantle of the wolf. Foil common, Nyxborn Colossus. Okay, we're uh, a sixth way through the video now, and we still have zero mythics. Trevor, the nightmare, the design, the cling to dust. Oh, the mythic! Trevor, you got the first mythic, you son of a gun! Ashiok, nightmare muse. Nice. The foil Rage Hound. Man. Trevor. You know, the guy thinks he runs this place. You know? What the heck? It's just like when I battle him in battles. You know, I never win. This is a three way battle. I got to beat two people to win. It's a lot of pressure. All right, Josh, what do you got? Rare. Oh, the Kraken. Another useful rare. A pretty good rare from the set. Right, cool. All right, Dave. Remember when I said earlier that Dave didn't get the second mythic? Remember when I said that? All right. The Herald, the Hoplite, the Celebrant, and the Rare, the Bronze Hide Lion, and a Foil Common, Towering Wave Mystic. All right. Nine packs down. Trevor, don't get another don't get another mythic. I mean it's fine if you do. I just prefer if you don't. Ah, an annex. Soul Guide Lantern. The Shaman and the Rare. The Acroan War. Alright. Trevor. I wish the leaderboard was live and like it scanned the cards while I was doing this so I can kind of see who's winning. I know Trevor's winning, but I just wonder how like how much is he crushing us by. All right, Josh, let's do it. I'll see the life Bonnie's good. Escape velocity and the rare wave break hippo camp horsefish foil uncommon commanding presence. You got to have those fish, the horsefish, not a seahorse. There's there's a difference. Assuming a big difference. Imagine a, a horse fish is bigger than a seahorse. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. Timurit, chosen from death. Chosen from death. Chosen. And the rare Timurit. What the heck? Hmm. Foil land. Hey, I get the foil land. Nice. It's not worth anything, but you know what? Dave B is going to take these small little moral victories. That's, that's how we're going to do things. We are one mythic into this box. It's Trevor's pack again. In case you missed it, Trevor got the only mythic so far. And a rare. Storm's Wrath. Love Storm's Wrath. Nice. If you hear the bling bling blings in the background, that's my work email because I'm supposed to be working right now. But I'm opening packs. 
Don't tell anybody. All right. Josh. Birth. The sweet oblivion and a sweet rare. Enigmic incarnation. Not a sweet rare. Not a sweet rare. Still one mythic so far out of this box. No foil rares out of this box yet. There's a lot of spice still to come. Uh, Dave B. Dave B. Dave B. The hero. The Ferris Ben Brawler. Rise to glory. And a rare. Oh, the next Lotus. Nice. That's not a bad rare. I will take that happily. I'm going to miss Theros Beyond Death. So my um, quick story, this is Trevor's pack. Quick story, my friends, uh, they come over once a week, sometimes once every two weeks, and we draft and drink beer and eat pizza and do fun stuff. Um, so freedom, a rare? The Underworld Breach, the banned card. And, land. and um, we draft different sets like all the time. And one of the first ones we drafted when we started doing this was Theros and um, literally, we were sitting there after our last draft, and we were like, we should go back to Theros again. Just because I did a... I'm a mono player. I love mono decks, because I hate, like, trying to find mana. Just Josh's pack. Um, I hate trying to find mana, and Devotion is so great when you're a mono player. Shadow Spear. Nice. Good pull. And a foil uncommon of Siona, captain of the Pilus? Peleus? Peleus? It doesn't necessarily matter what it's called. It matters what the value is. Um, so I love I, I love Devotion because I love playing mono. So Theros is up my alley. And it was crazy. When the set came out, it had no value. The State Beast back had no value. And now it's like it's actually got a really high value. It's almost like 100 bucks a box, which is pretty crazy. Rare. Taranika, a Crowan veteran. I say that 100 bucks a box, but... Um, one mythic. No foil rares. This one's not, it's not getting close to that. So let's see what happens, though. All right. Trevor. Mr. Moneybags. The leader right now. Destiny Spinner. Rare. First, a Crowan Games. A Rowan, not a Crowan. A Rowan. The Crowan's the war. The Games is a Rowan. Got it? We all got it. All right. All right. I wonder, um, I wonder how long in advance they have to think of these things. Like, when they said, oh, we're going to go back to Theros. Like, imagine there's, like, a lot of research and development that goes into that. You really, <clears throat> Banishing Light. You imagine there's a lot of planning out, like, how the cards are all going to work together. Like, and then there's, the obviously, the printing and the distribution. And, oh, a mythic. Look at that. A full art mythic. Josh, you devil. Oh, my gosh. Perforos, bronze blooded showcase mythic Joshua. Look what you've done. Okay, that uh all right, well. Yeah. Dizzy's doing all the talking and he's not getting any of the pulls. Maybe I should just shut up. Maybe I'll get something. Let's try. <gasps> nope, didn't work. Gravebreaker Lamia. Oh, I got the full rare! I got a foil rare. So I get Storm Herald. Uh, uh, I got a foil full art land. Should have value. Doesn't really. Got the foil rare. Should have value. Doesn't really. And then these guys over here get Planeswalker Mythics, uh, Showcase Mythics, and whatever. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Trevor, your turn. Might be a two way race right now. Scorn. That's how I feel. Scorn. Nightmare Shepherd. I love me some Nightmare Shepherd. I love this card. I'll read this one to you guys because this is one of my favorite for Mono Black. Whenever another non-token creature dies, that you control dies, you can exile it. If you do, you create a token copy. That's a Nightmare except it's 1-1. One, one. So listen, here's the thing. So the reason why this one is so unbelievably awesome is because if you can play it and you can pull out a um, Grey Merchant of Asphodel, and you go and you block and let the Grey Merchant die, you bring it back on the battlefield. So there goes another half of their life or whatever. Or devo whatever your devotion is. Loss of life. Um, all right, Josh. Rare. 
Oh, the hound. Look at that. And it came from your pack. Look at Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's shenanigans going on because you pull the hound from the hound pack, and then I had the two timorous in the same pack. There it is. Don't tell me they don't do this intentionally. All right, Dave B's time for a mythic. Everybody had a mythic so far, except the guy doing all the work. There he is, the gray merchant. See? Asking you shelves to receive. Rare. Uh, I guess if you ask for that, you don't receive it, though. You know how, like, when you, um, you're, like, really excited for something and you start working on it? I mean, it's like a, a sports game, right? Like a football game or... Or something like that. You're looking forward to it all week. And it starts and you're so pumped, man. And then, like, as it goes on and on, you're realizing, like, we're getting crushed. And, like, you just want to turn it off. That's how I feel right now. And a rare. The Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths. This is a fun card to play, man. Um, this is Trevor's. You know, when it comes into the battlefield, target opponent looks at the top three cards library and separates them into a face-down pile and a face-up pile. Put one pile in your hand, the other in a graveyard. So what's cool about that is what you're trying to do is you're um you're trying to pull off some let me turn my sound off you're trying to pull um some shenanigans where um trying to pull shenanigans where you're showing them like a really like decent card it's josh's and then um you hope they pick the two they can't see and the two they can't see are like basic lands or something assuming that you put something really good in there and the rare Sitsian Champion. Foil Uncommon, Meyer Triton. Nice, that's a pretty card. All right, Dave, we only have two Mythics so far, and we're down to seven packs remaining. So I'm going to go and assume there's a Mythic in this one. I assume right. Yes, and it's green. Could it be a good one? Maybe. Mixed Moon Ancient. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. I will take that. Now I'm on the board. Uh huh. Now these other guys are sitting there watching, going, Oh, here comes Dave B. He's coming after us. That's right. I'm coming back from behind. It's called a comeback, baby. I'm probably not. Oblivion. The rare. Tectonic Giant. And a Lampet of Death's Vigil Foil. The Tectonic Giant. That is, uh, well, that, that's Trevor, all right. He's a giant. I don't know about like in real stature, but like, I don't know, in our hearts. Giant man. All right, jo oh, oh my gosh. I just skipped the whole pack. Spoiler alert on Josh. Hey, another showcase. Man, you're just pulling off the showcases today. Wanderer. Punishment. Rare. Intervention. Perforos's intervention. All right. Two packs left for Dave, and then one pack left. For all of us. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. The real dreams. Uh the rare. Hashiax Array Shore. Hey, foil showcase Daxos. That's not bad. All right, one pack left for each of us. We have three mythics so far. I still expect one more. And I think whoever gets it might put them over the edge. Because it might be pretty close right now. So let's see. We're not going to finish on three. Vanishing Light. Hero of the Winds. The rare. Idolon of Destruction. I actually might. Because I, I did notice sometimes with these sets, like, if you get a um, Mythic Showcase, sometimes it, it, you get kind of cheated on the Mythics. Impossible. We're not really playing for anything but fun. It's actually Josh said he's like, I need more Thuros cards. Let's open up a box. Let's split it. All right. Game on, brother. And the rare, the Nessian Boar. Okay, last pack. Last pack of the battle. God, I really wish I could see the scoreboard right now. That would really make this dramatic for me. And I think there's one more mythic in here. Oh, man. Could it be? Come on. Could it be? It could be. It can always be. The chained, the rare, Thrix, the sudden storm. That's it. There's a three mythic box. Not bad. The final total should appear somewhere around here in the middle. 
it was a lot of fun to get these cards out to these guys. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed going back to Theros. And we'll catch you on the next one.